All right, guys, how you doing? So back at you with another video today. This is gonna be my first uh, post about a stock. So uh, I'll let you guys, uh, you guys can feel me out for how I'm thinking and you know what's going on here. So without further ado, Beyond Meat. I don't know if you guys know what this is. Uh, it's a plant-based stock. Um, so it basically is, is replacing meat, essentially. Uh, ticker symbol is BYND. If you want to look it up, it's you know should be available off on any trading trading uh, site. So uh, before I even start, I just want to let you guys know I'm not biased here. I'm not a vegan at all. Um, I I just believe in this company. I believe in the business model. CEO is great. Uh, look them up. Do some research. I don't want to. As I said, I'm going to try to keep it under ten minutes here. So. Uh, I don't want to bore you with all that stuff. If you do buy the stock, I recommend you looking into the background a little deeper and stuff like that, but just giving you the very broad gist of it. Um, yeah, not a vegan, Beyond Meat, Tickers BYND. Um, that's what it is, it's fake meat. Um, it's frozen, it's in a lot of uh, big box stores and stuff like that. Um, you probably heard of it. It's the number one player in the game for sure, as far as fake meat stuff. Um, I think it. I am a Tesla shareholder. Um, I got in before the share split, but I'll make another video about that stuff. So um, I do think it might be the next Tesla, something equivalent. Um, Tesla's obviously ran the past nine months, especially after the share split, and then them joining the S and P five hundred, and you know Elon's just doing crazy things right now, but. I do think this could be something similar to that in a couple of years. And the reason why is because I feel like this is the future uh, as far as like, you know, normal meat is not great for you, it's bad for you, and um, this stuff's a little healthier. Um, you know, my generation and the younger generation, for whatever reason, they're, a lot of them are vegans now, which is fine, but you kind of got to think about you know years out will this be better or worse and i have a very hard time seeing that it's going to be worse i think it's going to be a growing industry for sure and these guys are the number one player now being the number one player in the fake meat and plant-based stuff they are small in the food industry these guys like if you compare them to you know other items in the industry and stuff like that i mean they're they're they are a small player for sure it's 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 very niche right now kind of there's not many other big guys out there uh what they have done in the past year and what they are doing soon they are in uh fast food which uh you know if you've ever been to a taco bell they're they're actually they do have a beyond meat section um starbucks not in the u.s yet I'm sure it's going to happen sometime this year. Um, that's just my opinion. I don't have any um, like black and white detail that's going to happen, but it is internationally right now and it is in Canada for all. So if any of you guys watching in this countries, uh, you'll be able to vouch. Uh, I looked into it. The sales are very strong internationally in Canada. So I don't see why they wouldn't bring it to the US with Starbucks. It is in KFC. Um, and it is in Dunkin' also in the uh, morning uh, morning menu. So that's cool. I haven't tried that or that or Taco Bell. However, McDonald's did announce in Q1 of 2021, so shortly, that they're going to make a McPlant. And uh, it's going to be beyond meat. So we all know how big McDonald's is. So I really feel like that's that's really going to change the game. Because I feel like McDonald's is bigger than these four combined. So, and that's in the US, so it's called the McPlant, so. And if they advertise, like on the wrapper, it's Beyond Meat, that's just gonna make the stock go nuts in my opinion. So I'm pretty bullish on Q1 of 2021. I do think this could be a $1 trillion industry. Um, I'm talking like, you know, three, four, five years down the road, like that is not unrealistic. And if you do the valuation of it now versus um, one trillion dollars, like you're gonna you're gonna 10, 10 15 extra money. So I uh, I mean, 
it's a no brainer. If you, I mean, if you really believe in a $1 trillion industry, like this is silly, like the, the, the pricing is silly. Uh, there is a lot of room for international growth. Um, they're in it a little bit, but nothing like crazy. It's, it, 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 there's so much potential there. Um, analysts, so like Yahoo, Yahoo Finance and all that stuff, like analysts will give projections of growth. They're predicting 50% plus year over year again into 2021, which is, I mean, insane. I think that's even higher than last year. So, I mean, the upside to this company is insane. Uh, the past three years, they've 3X'd their revenue. So 18 3X, no, 17 3X, 18 3X, 19 3X. This year was a little weird, but I think they two or 3X'd again. So maybe the past four years, but I know they, they've executed at a very high level. And I think this year they'll do just as good, if not better, depending on how things are with, you know, everything else going on in the world right now. So what I would do, which I am doing actively right now, I'm just buying, buying, and then once it takes off, um, I'll let you know what number this is when I'm gonna start holding. But right now, I'm buying. I'm buying, buying, buying. That's exactly what I did with Tesla. So uh, right when Tesla started taking off in the, um, in the spring, that's when I started to hold Tesla. I have not bought a share since. So there was a share split obviously and, and, and now it's ridiculous. So I'm up hundreds of percentage on Tesla doing this similar business model. Um, so it's worked for me in the past. Um, so this stock, if you look at the chart, just making it very simple, it spiked in October at 195. So that's exciting because I mean, it's been there before. It's absolutely gonna pass that again, like probably this year. Like I know for a fact it will pass it this year, 100%, I think. Uh, currently it's at 118, which is great because it was sitting around 130, 125 the past like two, three weeks. It's been at 125 to 130. So like, I mean, I've been buying it almost every other day not a big, not a lot, like maybe a share here, share there, but again, it adds up over time. Um, so um, the April level, it was, uh, oh, excuse me. So the 118 is basically an April price point right now, which is awesome. I mean, you're going back like, you know, months to get to that price point. So it's a strong buy right now. What I love, like pricing wise, I would load the boat. If you're anywhere near the 100, 105 range, I would put as much in as possible. And it might get there maybe, if depending on what happens, but we'll see. So 100 bucks to 105, love. Um, I'll still buy until it hits 125. Like I said, it's at 118 right now, or 117 it's been floating around. So I've been just actively adding, you know, whenever I have a spare hundred bucks, I'm adding, adding, adding. Uh, so that's still a buy. I would hold somewhere between like 126 and 130. I think after that, it's, it, you know, it's gonna run to probably over 200 for sure this year. So um, I just like this right now i mean that's where i would stop buying it but you don't know when that's going to come so moral of the story is you want to keep buying 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 until you know you reach that point you don't know when it's going to be but take advantage of where it's at now and then i guarantee you in a year i'll circle back or i'll keep updating this stock but right now strong buy 100 percent would buy right now so make sure you like subscribe comment if you have any questions and uh that's it peace